Well, the crowd of just over 36 and a half thousand people, they are literally on the edge of their seats. It's hard to imagine how Tip let this happen. They were so comfortable, but caught them right back in it. Well, they look to be cruising, Tipperary, capitalising on all those cork mistakes. Declan Dalton is fist pumping as that ball is in the air. And that's why. What a strike from Declan Dalton. The sides are level. Dan McCormick to Mark Keogh. He's in again. Keogh! Tipperary strike back. The goal scoring machines that Liam Cal have built. Well, they've just done it again. And Mark Keogh is having one of the games that he'll remember for the rest of his days. 1 4 for the tip sub. Horgan down at the Black Rock end, backpedalling. He'll get a 65. Well, just when it looked like Cork had tipped where they wanted them. Tip, go and do that. Yeah, and it's Dan McCormack again. So, like, the, the vision of the established players in that Tipperary team, the Noel McGrath, the Dan McCormacks, they're always there. And it was him that re released Mark Kehoe. Mark Kehoe, for me, has been incredibly impressive since he came on in the first half. Well, they score goals for fun all through the Allianz League, Tipperary. 14 in five games. They're up to seven in their last two championship matches. Cork need this from Patrick Horgan. He nails it. Eight points, just like he hit here against Waterford. And that makes it a two-point game again. Mark Keogh to Seamus Kennedy. Kennedy, there was just no stopping him. He's up to three points now. The man from St. Mary's. But again, it was Mark Keogh pulling the strings and causing Cork all sorts of problems. Yeah, the Tipperary have to be extremely happy with the return they're getting from their inside line. This is incredible team play, willingness to win primary possession. And we've got Seamus Cannon after arriving onto the field. This is a big sub for Tip. So a double substitution happening uh, in for Cork is Brian Hayes, the former county footballer. And Shami Callanan is back in action, the former hurler of the year. Looking to help Tip see this out. And it's Connor Bow, the player who's made way. 90 seconds of normal time to play. Anything could happen. Dara Fitzgibbon trying to combine there with Brian Hayes. Ball played back to Tim O'Mahony. Here's Kingston. Kingston, he's got a man in the middle. It's another goal. It's Brian Hayes. It wasn't quite his first touch. But he's only been on the field a matter of moments. Kingston to Hayes. And the substitution has worked out brilliantly for Cork, Pat Ryan and Brian Hayes. And Hayes started off that movement in the first place. The intricacy of the play, Dara Fitzgibbon driving the ball across the square. Tim O'Mahony getting the touch, feeding Kingston. Kingston making the correct decision and feeding Hayes. That's a really, really, really excellently executed goal. The sides are level for the sixth time. Who will blink first? Cork have looked second best for long stages. But Brian Hayes, a man who hit 416 from play for the Bars last year in the Cork Club Championship, has come up with a golden goal. Pat Ryan's changes have really made an impact. Tim Mahoney has been impactful on both ends. And Brian Hayes the goal. So we're into additional time. We're going to have at least five minutes. Alan Tynan still going strong, holding off all comers. A 
chance for Tip, a chance for Callan and Patrick Collins came to take man and ball and knock it away. Callan and again shortens the grip. Well, class is permanent, and Shamey Callan and sheer class for a man who's only on the field a couple of minutes. Yeah, what an intervention by Patrick Collins as the ball. He took a quick puck out to find Shane kicks and keep running free down the right-hand side. Breathless stuff. Conor Lahan held up, back to Kingston. Just glances at the post, fires it up and over the bar. Three points for Kingston. Teams level again. Yeah, Conor Lehan making an impact since he came in. Shane Kingston making much better use of the ball, Shane Kingston, since he's been able to get on it. Puck out lands down on top of Kieran Joyce. Break, won by Tip, won by Mark Keogh. Declan Dalton, he has given absolutely everything. Well, you'd expect both teams to be out on their feet. Will that extra week's rest now stand to tip? Or have Cork got the momentum? Dan McCormick has got the Schlitter and he's won the free. What a warrior Dan McCormick has been again tonight. Another example of what Dan McCormick does so well. Critical possession to win. Three Cork bodies around him. No, no time for missed touches. Into the hand, takes the contact, wins the free. Dan McCormick, definitely one of the most unnoticed and unrecognised elements of the, of the All-Ireland wins in the last 19 and 16. Tip have handed the free-taking duties to John McGrath. The man for the big occasion takes on the shot and misses. Just wide at the city end. 11 wides for Tip. Patrick Collins gives the short one, takes the return, lashes it down towards the Cork full forward line. Cahal Barrett trying to lift it. Horgan and company watching his every move. Barrett driving out with that ball. The legs pumping. He was not prepared to give up possession and he wins the free with two minutes to go. Seamus, let's jump in at this stage. Tell us, who's your man of the match? The man of the match for me has to be and timing he's been incredible start to finish all day long points from play physical winning the ball in the, in the ground when it needs to be won he took the fight to court today so Alan Tynan scored a four points from play tonight in just his second game of senior championship hurling is Seamus's air man of the match as Paul O'Dwyer gives a free to Kieran Joyce who's been patched up he's back in the game and back on duty as gatekeeper at the heart of the Cork defence. Yeah, so now we're at the stage where both teams, any mistake, a free could be the deciding of the game. Carl Barrett won it, a broken ball down the far end, came out, won a ball, won a free. Now the far end, Kieran Joyce does the same. Both teams on 10 hooks here. There's our man of the match, Alan Tynan from Ross Gray. He's really been He's fantastic. Looks yeah. like a man who's running on fumes. Yeah, I know. He's, he, he gave Seamus Kennelan a golden opportunity for a goal only for Patrick Collins' incredible save. He's done it all today. Well, what must Pat Ryan and Liam Cahill be thinking right now? They've tried everything to get the upper hand on each other. And right now, we're still none the wiser. Just look at that scoreline. What would a draw do to the Munster Championship <laughs> round robin? We've had 50 scores in 74 and a half minutes. And Cork have come back from the dead. So it, it's, a, it's incredible the ebbs and flow of this game, of the Munster Championship in general. Well, will we have a 51st? Declan Dalton is sizing up to this free like a man on a mission. He's just inside his own 45. Breeze behind him, it's dropping. It had the distance, not the accuracy. The five minutes of additional time have been played. Was that Cork's last chance? Will Paul O'Dwyer let it continue a little longer? It looks like he will. Cahal Barrett, 
the All-Star, the All-Ireland medal winner, decides to let the Schlitter do the work and pumps it in towards Dan McCormack. Declan Dalton. Who else had run across to close down the option to get the tackle in? What a game he's had. Yeah, Declan Dalton has been very impressive all around. When, again, when they weren't doing much in the first half, he was putting his body around. And him with that incredible goal in the first half. He's been all over the place for Cork. Now we'll take the sideline cut, and there goes the full-time whistle. Honours even.